All right, guys, hi. So I decided on my last video, I was a little bit selfish trying to uh, ask you guys to reach me 120 likes. I just decided I'm not gonna do YouTube for fame. I'm gonna do it just to have fun and stuff. So I've got a couple pieces of different wood. I have cedar and I believe this is poplar. Then I have some walnut outside that I'm going to make a very awesome slingshot like I showed you in that one video or in my first video is called I think just a random vid. Um, uh, I'm just gonna show you guys um, you can make really any slingshot out of it. It doesn't have to be that exact shape, shape, I, so, shape I showed you in that um, just a random vid video. So um, let's begin this video and hope you guys enjoy. All right, so the tools you're gonna need for this step at least, a pen, a pen or a pencil, uh, something that you can cut paper with and obviously paper. So what you're gonna need to do first is on your paper, draw whichever design you want for that, that you want your slingshot to look like. And then when you're done with that, I'll show you the next step. So it looks pretty bad right now, but I'll, but I'll cut it out and it'll look a little better. So just take your scissors, cut out your design, and then we'll move on out. Um, make, your straight, make your cuts as straight as possible when you're cutting it out with the scissors. And I'm gonna be using some uh, um, cedar so yeah I'm gonna be make sure your grain on your wood is running upwards on your slingshot like this so that the limbs don't have a chance of like busting and going and hitting you in the face so yeah so now what you want to do is you want to tape your um, or not tape trace your slingshot to the piece of cedar so I have it traced on, and um, the things over there, I have it traced on, and what I'm going to do is I'm now going to trace it also onto the poplar. Alright, so I got it traced onto the poplar and the cedar, so now what we're going to do is we're going to go out to the scroll saw, and um, I just came out here, and I remembered I was doing this ramble and slingshot, I probably may or may not do a tutorial on that. I don't know. You leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys want to see me do this one. It's fairly comfortable already in my hand. So yeah, back on to the other side. All right, so I'm self filming here. Sorry if the angle's not the greatest. So now you take the pieces of wood that you, tra the pieces of wood that you traced on and cut them out.
your slingshot. It doesn't have to be perfect. You can see my edges are not very perfect at all. And then cut it out on your other piece of wood. It already feels fairly comfortable except for the sharp edges around here. Sorry, the lighting's not the best here, but what you're gonna need now is some wood glue, your two pieces. As you can see, they fit fairly well together. Um, and a G clamp. So I'm just gonna put glue in between those on both surfaces and I'm gonna clamp them and I'll show you guys that. Okay, um, I put glue on each surface, put them in the G clamp and just made sure they were as much lined up as I could get them. They don't have to be perfect because you're gonna sand them all down and make designs in them and stuff. So. I will get back to you guys when these things are dry. Okay, so it's been about four hours. Um, they're dry. I'm gonna go ahead and take them out of the Jeep clamp and see if they're dry. Right now, as I traced a de or a design that I wanted the handle to be on the uh, side, and I went ahead and cut it out on the scroll saw also, just like, just like this. All right, just cut it out like that, and then. So now I have really a very very rough shape. I might do a little more cutting on the scroll saw. Pretty much this step is just to get it exactly like cut out there. Um, just pretty much get the handle how you want it, get it comfortable in your hand and we'll move on to it. I got it to fit my hand fairly well. Now I'm just gonna take a sequences of like files and rasps and try to smooth the handle down to exactly how I would like it. And if, and uh, this is the final process for the handle, so get it exactly how you like. Got my handle exactly how I would like it. I still have a little glue I need to sand off, but other than that, it's a really comfortable handle. And as you can see, the forks are very, very chunky on the sides. So now we begin the shaping of the, hand, uh, the um, forks. Uh, this is probably the last chance you're going to be able to shape the forks, so get them exactly how you're going to like All right. I got my handle and my... Um, uh, forks like I would like them. So now what's left to do is oil and to band. So for the oiling step, I'm going to be using mineral oil, mineral oil, and I'm just going to be applying it probably two or three coats on the slingshot. So all you, all you need to do with this, I'm just going to be using my hands. And it'll make the uh, final product look nicer if you sanded it down to about a thousand grit like I did. one of the best slingshots um, comfortably I've ever made and also looks. Beautiful. It looks amazing. Alright. Now I'm just going to let this one dry and repeat the process two more times. the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Very comfortable slingshot.